Hi there, music lover, Cubase lover. Like I promised, I think it's when the right time to let you guys understand something about audio latency and drop point circling, all those problems, the sound that drops and you hear the voices inside the audio that jump in, you don't see it clearly and don't hear it clearly, you don't, see it, you don't hear it clearly, okay? There's drop points when you listen to the audio. So today I wanna, I wanna have a talk with you about a, a fast conversation about latency mono. This is a product and this product was specifically designed and the intention of the product is to help you capture latency problems with your real-time audio and it checks the machine and shows you information that can help you to fix the problem. First of, first of all, you download, but I don't want you to download the version 7. You go to, you can make a copy, go to Google, and you select this version, okay? Select this version. After you select it, you do the download. It's very fast, very easy. You install it. Next, 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 next. No issue. After that, we're gonna open the application now. We are opening right now the application. And voila! First of all, when you open the application, this is the view you're going to see. This view, it shows that there's no information yet. There's no log that's been saved or information added to the log in relation to what the check is about to process. Okay, so right now we're standing on the main. See, there's a stat, process, drivers, and CPUs. It gathers information and shows you information and the, if there is a problem. If there is a problem, how where's the location you need to fix it? You could the start monitor. It gathers information very fast and voila, you see? In my situation, it means that your system appears to be suitable for handling real-time audio and other tasks without dropout. Okay, so what does it mean? It means that the machine works in relation to all the audio latency. There's no, you know, a sound, you hear the music, noises. No interruption in the sounds. So if you see the green light like that, it means that's okay. If not, you're gonna see in, in red, a text in red, and it shows you specifically where are the problems that you need to fix it. If you do not know how to fix it, contact your administrator where you bought the computer, or you can go to forums in the internet. You can make a copy and paste into Google about the problem itself. It will help you, you know. It's a, I call it a community of lovers out there in relation to Cubase and uh, fixing problems in relation to that. So, uh, and this problem is not specifically designed for only Cubase lovers or audio engineers, those people that, like us, as a guitarist music producer, I decided to create this to just to enhance your ability to understand that if you do not know things in relation to IT, the system management outside of operating on the software, the engineering software, you need to know, it's very diverse world, we need to know many things. So this was a discussion about, specifically about the latency problem with audio, this is the latency moon, and enjoy it. If you have any questions, we're gonna ask something. First of all, put a comment down there, thumbs up, subscribe for next, you can see the next videos, and. You say we're a community of lovers, so let us all together help each other to create a situation that if there's a problem, we go to the web, we seek, we type what we need to address for the problem we need to address, and we fix it. Thank you. So please, guys, help me, help me, continue, please. Thumbs up, subscribe, help me grow the channel. God bless you.